Example 77. In this problem, we're finding the probability that a z-score value is greater than 2.34 on the standard normal curve. All right, so remember, z means, for now on, it means the standard normal probability distribution. So if we ask the probability that a z-value is greater than 2.34, we need to draw the bell curve. Okay, so I'm going to draw the bell curve. And once I have my drawing done, I'm going to label the center at zero. Now, with this number line, I'm going to figure out where this 2.34 is on the number line. So I think it's to the right because obviously 2.34 is greater than zero. I draw a line where I think that is on my curve, and then I have to shade the appropriate area. So here, they're saying that the z-score value is greater than 2.34. So which numbers are greater than this value? The numbers to the right. If the statement is written this way, where the z is on the left, that symbol will actually point in the direction you're supposed to shade. See how it points to the right? So as long as your variable here is on the left, this will point in the direction you need to shade. So we're going to shade to the right here, because those are the values that are greater than 2.34. Now before we go to the table, let's think about what the table's going to give us, right? We don't have anything else to do here except for look up this number on a z-table, right? That's all we have the power to do here. And if I look up 2.34, remember what the table will give me. It gives me the area from here to here. That's what the table always does. It doesn't have the ability to give us this area. It doesn't work that way. So if I look up 2.34, I get this area. That's not the area I want, though, and yet I have nothing else to look up, so I'm going to have to look up that value. So let's discuss what we need to do to get the area once we've gone to the table and, and gotten the 2.34 value from the z-table. So we'll figure out how to find this area after we get the number. So let's go to the table and get the number we're looking for. Okay, so we're looking at the z-score 2.34, so we're going to need to find 2.3 first in this column. Let's move the table up so we can see that value. Okay, so we see the 2.3 row here at the very bottom of the table. We're going to go over to the fifth position where we find 2.34 because the first position is 2.30, 2.31, 2, 3, 4. And we find the answer 0. 0.4904. Okay, so we found the answer 0. 0.4904 from the table. 0.4904. But remember, that area belongs here because that's what the table gave us. It's not the shaded space, so we don't have the answer that we want. In order to find this answer, we're going to need to do a simple trick. Half of the curve from here all the way over, this area from here all the way over, is 50%. That is 50% of the curve, right? It's half the curve, which is the same as 0 0.500 as a decimal. So if we think about it, there's two parts to this half of the curve. There's the white space and there's the shaded space. So if these two things add up to 50, let's think about it if it was just a simple 49 here. If it was just 49% in the white space, what would this have to be? It would have to be 1%, right? So that 49 and 1 would make 50. So this isn't quite 49, but it's real close. So this is approximately 1%. How do we figure out exactly what it is? We'll take the 50% and subtract the 49.04% from it, and we'll be left with our answer. So that's how you do it. Whenever there's a tail area shaded, you take 0.5 and you subtract 0.4904, and it'll give you your answer. So this area is going to be 50% minus 0.4904, the area we found in the white space. And if we do a little old school borrowing, right? We have 10 take away 4, which gives us 6. 9 take away 0, which of course is 9. And then 49 minus 49 gives us 0. So you end up with the answer 0 0.0096. And so that's our answer. The probability that z is greater than 2.34 is simply 0 0.0096 or basically 0.96%, so not even 1%, but about 1%, right? If you rounded it, it would be 1%.